know people who are so conceited, so snobby, and have such high opinions of themselves, it is difficult to be around these people without telling them to stop being so full of themselves. Do you know people like this, guys? Yeah. Ma'am, you know somebody like this? Yes, I know a lot of people like that. All right, well, that's exactly how some of my guests feel. On today's show, they're going to f confront that friend of theirs and tell them, you might think you're hot, but girlfriend, you're not. someone who is confident and sure of themselves. But what's it like hanging around someone who is way beyond confident? Someone who is downright conceited, pretentious, and even snobby. Please meet Kren. Kren says her friend Juanita is totally convinced that she is all that. And she's here today to tell Juanita that she is definitely not. How does Juanita act, Kren? Juanita is terrible, Ricky. She's absolutely terrible. She will not talk to anyone she feels is not cute. Basically, she feels they lower her property value. Um, an example... Her property value. Um, yes, that's how she associates with the looks, um, property value. If you're not attractive, then you lower one's property value. She, she has her cousin, and one of her cousin's friends in particular, she feels lowers her cousin's property value. Um, that's just why Nita she will walk away from you if you do not acknowledge what she has on. She's very, very materialistic. So um, if I don't comment on her look today, she'll, she'll be annoyed with me? Um, perhaps, or maybe she'll just shun you. Um, it depends on... <laughs> well, she depends, better not! It depends on... <laughs> It basically depends on what she has. Like, case in point, um, we went to a basketball game, and she bought a Ralph Lauren backpack that was, oh, roughly $278. You roughly. didn't know it was Ralph Lauren. It had RL inscribed in the back of the backpack. Could have been Ricky Lake, because those the are my initials. Mini, the little mini backpack. Right. The little mini backpack. Uh -huh. And um, basically, when one walked up to her and did not acknowledge the backpack, then she walked away from them. The same applied with the Ralph shirt. It just said Ralph across, and... Those that ask, oh, is that your boyfriend? Then, you know, she belittled them like, mm. idiot. Does Juanita think she can get any guy she wants? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, she, she, is she is attractive. She's very talkative. And um, she has really big breasts. So she, <laughs> she will um, wear the baby doll shirts. And they're cute. So Her she breasts works are them. really, really big. And quite naturally, that's going to attract attention. All right. But, you know, she definitely thinks that she's all that, and you're oh. here to say that she's not. Oh, definitely. And Are you ready I, to judge for yourselves, guys? Yeah. Juanita! <laughs> yes. Sister, you are not all that. I swear. I'm just sorry. You know, it ain't even like that. It is not like that. You are not. I'm, no. <laughs> yes, yes, Juanita, of course. I'm sorry, but you're not all that either. And if that was, if it was, I know, I know. But I just wanted to remind you. But the you, show is about you. I did yeah. not say I was, okay? I'm very aware that you're not all of that. And I'm glad that you were able to acknowledge that. I hope that makes you feel better. <laughs> And at least she got a real hair. You don't got your real hair. She got hers. Yes! So, so do you really think that you are better than everybody else? The most beautifulest thing in the world, and Keith Murray. <laughs> with ugly people because they bring down your property value. No, that's not true. It's just that it's just that sometimes like, okay, like the school we go to or whatever, sometimes walking down the street or whatever, 
And no, I'm not going to walk behind, like if we're all walking together and somebody in the group isn't, you know, like up to par or whatever. No, I'm not going to walk around you like you're my buddy and me, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm not. All right. I'll walk in front of you. I'm not playing the back for anyone. All right. Yes. Yes, ma'am. If you think people like lower your property value, then you obviously lower hers because she looks a hell of a lot better than you do. lower Corinne's property value because you know we're at the same scale she's on point I'm on point we complement each other and that's just the way it is if there's no competition is it true us. that you wanted to change your name to Alexis because you were in love with that character from Dynasty yes when I was young I did want to do that <laughs> what was it about her because Alexis was bad she dressed the best she didn't take any mess she blackmailed everybody she had all the money you know what I'm saying who doesn't want it she was a bitch Alexis had it going on to the fullest all right she had Blake wrapped up yes Okay, I want to know, what pointers do you think is great about you? What point do I? Yeah. Like, have you achieved anything? Uh, have you helped someone? Or do you think, think you're just better than somebody of because course, of, of your course. looks? Of course, Now, you know, you might think, well, Juanita is just a, a B word. I don't curse or whatever. You might think I'm a bad girl or whatever. But um, I'm really sweet and everything. I'm also in school. I'm not ignorant, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going around just putting down people, but you know, I'm not going to sit there and be put down, and I won't allow myself to be put down, you know what I'm saying? All right, well, Juanita, we have a little surprise for you today. You're here today saying that you're all that, but there's someone here today that thinks you're not, and that she is all that. Surprise guest, Ooh. come on out. <laughs> First, Who I is this? like to know that my shoes are Donna Karen. Thank you very much. Oh. Wait a minute. Who are you? I want you to sister, Lakia, and I'm here to tell you you are not all that. Is that an area? You are not all that. I'm all that. And your braids are going out. You need to, get, you need to have me do your braids over in the front because the roots are going out in the show. Okay. Showing. Okay. Showing. Can I ask you if you bought those? Shoes or yes, I did buy these shoes. Yes, I did buy these Sticky shoes. Fingers. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What makes, what makes <laughs> you, Lakia, all that? Because your weave is fresh in my brain. Oh. <laughs> well, if, if it has to be that, then it does have to be that, because yes, I do have a weave, and yes, it is nice looking. I like, yes, my mother did it, and I know it looks good, so and nobody can tell me so that. So why are that. you all that, and why is she not all that? Well, look at me. I'm all that. I look like Janet Jackson. Everybody says it. I look like a Barbie doll, and I know I'm all that. And why need is nothing but an overweight person. So wait, wait. People call you that she looks like Janet Jackson on crack. Okay, I didn't have any. Yes. What do you want to say? She just said that. Look at her, but I'm looking at her, and I'm saying, where the rest is you? Jenny Craig, okay? I got it. We can't hear you, ma'am. We can't hear you, sir. You seem like, you, you seem to have good taste from what you're wearing. Which one do you think is all that? All of them tore up from the flow up. Wrapped up from the up. Beat up from the feet up. They tore down. Baby, you's ugly. You's ugly. You like me out in L.A. But like I'm saying. I gotta be is fine in L.A. I ain't gotta be fine nowhere else but in L.A. And then the parties in L.A. They all think I look good. You look like that I look like a gremlin. Baby, I look like a gremlin. You don't know what you look like. You know what I'm saying? You must not know what you look like for you to come out in the street wearing what you're wearing. So, okay. All right. Stop it, So, let me ask the three of you. Ladies, ladies. Little Janet. Little Janet. Yes, Little Janet. That is my name. So, let me ask you. A lot of people are here today, are here today saying that you are not all that. Is that going to change your opinion no, of yourself? No, because nobody in this audience could tell me that I'm not all that. I heard it too many times that I am. The airplane ride over here, everybody was looking at me on the airplane. The um, stewardess was talking to me the whole time. She was like, you're beautiful. Do you act? What do you do? What do you do? Just everybody watched me in their video. Everybody watched me in their video, so, you know. 
All right, yes. Oh, no, Maybe you should try and cross your legs. It's a lot more ladylike. Okay, when we return, we will meet a girl who says she will not associate with people who are below her, and that includes some members of our studio audience. And later on in the show, it's the Miss All That Contest, an event you surely don't want to miss. Don't go away. hot and their friends who say not please meet whisper whisper says his friend angel is so conceited that if her attitude doesn't change their relationship is history really tell me about angel she just got a real bad attitude like when we go to her house she tell us to take off our shoes before we walk in her house and her carpet ain't white it's brown <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so I told her if she wanted to take off our shoes why don't we just go to the back door and she said no nah. I, I hear you do a mean impersonation of her when you walk in. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's she gone? She be like, girl. <laughs> be like. Oh, go ahead, <laughs> you all that being the person that I am me myself and I tell me what what kind of person are you I know I'm all that <laughs> is it true that you put people's jobs down even though you don't even have a job yourself no <laughs> no no you sure positive well you do know that whispers pretty uh pretty bummed with your attitude and he's even willing to give up your friendship if you don't change that's because the hundred percent woman i am and the fire he trying to be he can never be a oh. me. No, i don't think so asia see that's her mistake right there with that's two, her mistake two right snaps there. and one twist you can never look as good as this that's her, oh. that's her mistake. wait a minute wait a minute why do I want to look like that and already look like this? Okay. That's why you want to look why, like me, because the way you look now, why hello? Why okay. thing that I got upon okay. her? She only got one man, but I could get two of them. Why she only got one? Okay, okay. excuse me. Why? Excuse me. For you, it would take two, because if one can't do the job, I don't need another. Hello? I can't tell okay. the way you're going. So wait a minute. Oh, well. Are you, do you think, Angel, that you're better than any, everyone else on the panel today? Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Daddy. That's one of her man's man, Big Daddy. Come on, <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What do you want to say? You can't be all that, cause all that didn't even cost no more than ten dollars. So, honey, wherever you got it from, wherever you got it from, you need to take it back, cause you've been wrong. Okay. You can never look as good as me, okay? Okay? Wait a minute. Okay. I have Go to ask ahead. you guys a question. Does being all that depend on how much you spend on your outfit? Um, excuse me, but do you got one baby? You can never look as good as mama, okay? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what I thought. Yes, sir. Um, what's girlfriend's name right there? Which one? In the black is, uh, Lakia. Can she stand up? Lakia. Whose pants do she have in? What did you say? What did you say? And girlfriend on the end, she looked like Barney. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. What did he say? And your hair. And you didn't have somebody cut your hair again. Barney. 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 Barney.
ladies, yes. I think you ladies got the season mixed up. It's, it's Christmas time, it's not Halloween. Santa needs to go get some more hair. <laughs> I got time and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, baby. But the difference okay. between them is they're not up there if saying that they're better than everyone, everyone else. You're, All you're I gotta say is one thing. Just they trying to talk about right. us. We have wings and everything, baby. I got hair. I got I hair do too. hair, and I don't want to be worried about my hair while I'm trying to do some of you people that need your hair done. Yes, yes sir. I just like to say, I mean, I know feeling good about yourself is fine, but you guys are taking it to an extreme. I'm sorry, I feel... John Travolta, I'm sorry. Well, you know it, I, but I'm not going to go out. I feel good no, about myself, but I'm not going to sit up there and preach no, to people how good I think I feel. I should not have self-esteem about ourselves. I'm not going to have low self-esteem. But isn't there a limit? It's gonna be, that's a whole other show. But it's good to have people who feel about themselves. Some people are natural-born leaders. No, All right, right. Whisper, I understand you do an imitation of her dance? Yes, I do. Let's see her dance. <laughs> Then. Yes, sir. Yes. I hope I never have to see you do that dance. <laughs> well, hey, she, could, she could do the dance. She looks nice doing it. She, she looks nice, nice doing, doing it. it. Okay. Let's All right. It. All right. When we return, we'll meet a girl who says her roommate is a snobby beauty queen and she is so sick and tired of her pompous attitude, she's moving out. Don't go away. <laughs> than everyone else. Please meet Danita. Danita says her roommate, Michelle, not only thinks she is prettier than everyone else, Danita says she is a snooty snob to boot. Really? Tell me about it. Oh, she's horrible. I have to live with her day in and day out. She's constantly, constantly telling me that I'm jealous of her and that I'm not as good as her. Is That's exactly how she makes me feel, and I'm just so fed up with it, I'm getting out. You're moving out. I sure am. <laughs> So is it true you think you're better than your friend Anita? In certain ways, I think so. I definitely think so. I think she, she tells me, she told me before I came on the show that what I was wearing, I look fat in. Do I look fat? No. I do not think I look Ricky, fat. Ricky, 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 that's because she took my advice and she changed. No, this not... is my outfit. You're tripping. Get, save it for <laughs> you. Anita, did you not borrow Carolyn's pants? No, these are my pants. Those? Thank you very much. Carolyn's pants. Ricky, the ones that oh, she tried on before that. save it. Okay, okay no, wait. Material. Do we want to go there? Do we, do we want to go there? Too much material, Do we want to go there? You have a bad okay. body. Okay, does this sound familiar? Does this sound familiar. What oh, is it your um, business what she's wearing? Well, you know, Ricky, I want my friend to look good. And, she's and I do look good better than you. Okay. <laughs> Ricky, my girlfriend tried on these. She had a little bit, a lot more material. I guess her friend Carolyn might be bigger than she is. She tried on, she has just too much material. Oh, no. I said, Danita, you have a better body than that. You need to find something that suits you and makes you look good. Well, just and so she took my advice and she changed. No. Now, are you the expert because you're a beauty queen? Um, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I think I have a little bit more than she does. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you put her and your other friends down? 
Um, I don't put them down, but I give them advice, and I hope that they would take no. it. No, uh, I, that is a lie. She puts my friend, my best friend, Andrea. We had all gone out, and Andrea was walking. She was telling me, my, telling my friend Andrea that she had ugly, skinny chicken legs. And to me, that is so rude. If you have to put somebody down, that means you lack self-esteem yourself. No. Yes, ma'am. Um, this is for all of you. What else do you have to offer besides your beauty? That's it. I can answer that, Ricky. Um, I have three more semesters, and I'm a child psychology major. So I have a lot to offer my husband, my future children. There's, there's a lot that comes along. I have a class, the attitude to go along with my looks. So I have not only the body, the looks, but I also have brains, too. Okay, yes. I have two things to say. First of all, if you all think that you're all that, I haven't seen you on the cover of any magazines. Second of all, you all may be physically beautiful, but once you open your mouth, it's over. That's right. Listen, I want to speak to all of y'all. Don't none of y'all look beauty, really. Now the only one look good that I like is the lady with the tam on. Now she is all that to me. The one with the black and white. The one with the black. Uh, uh, yeah, the key on. Honey, you need some weight, baby. Come home with me. Come home with me. I give you some weight, honey. But you need to face the facts because none of y'all are all that. You got to wake up and smell the coffee. You, you need to do something to that hair because it is all kinky. I don't think so. All right, we got a comment in the back row. Come on over here. Come on over here. Yes, ma'am. Juanita, in order for you to think that yourself is so beautiful, get your hair touched up and get some nails, okay? That's not what all that makes me, you know what I'm saying? You don't see me every day, you don't know me, you don't know my style. Simple. But your friend is sitting next okay. to you and says... That's okay, that's okay, your body is so big, and I know you can't tell the same, you know what I'm saying? Hang on, we can't hear you, ma'am, we can't hear you. I wish we could, but we can't. When we return, we'll meet someone who says... No one likes her friend anymore because of her enormous ego. And coming up, our audience will help us choose our very own Miss All That. So stick around. even though their friends are convinced that they're not. Please meet Anitra. Anitra says that her friend Amanda has such a bad attitude that she has lost all of her friends and no one wants to talk to her anymore. Is that true, Anitra? It's very true. If you may, when you meet Amanda, she is the, just such a bitch. She has this attitude that she thinks she's better than everybody. Um, some stories that she knows, we know this certain person, and he has like tight curly hair, and she told him to his face that it looks like he has pubes growing from his skull. I mean, she is just, she's harsh. She makes fun of everybody. She... I'm dying to meet this girl, aren't you? <laughs> Amanda, come on out here. <laughs> Did you really say that to a friend of yours? Yeah. <laughs> it's, his hair is really curly and it looks gross. <laughs> well, what gives you the right to tell him that it's gross? If you're because his friend... when I say stuff to people, if it makes them feel bad, I feel better. <laughs> really? Really. Well, we have your mom in the audience. What do you think of your oh, daughter's God. attitude? Very self-centered. Very self-centered. Does she call you names, too? Mm, once in a while. <laughs> yes. You call your mother names? It's not bad ones all the time. <laughs> the world revolves around her. I think it should. I didn't say it did. I think it should. <laughs> yes. 
First of all, she doesn't even have respect for herself or her mother. And I want to ask her what, what kind of mirror she been looking in, because she needs to really find herself. Look at you. What do you think you are? Look at you, girl. What's the matter with you? First of all, you need a, you need a complete, you need a complete makeover. Sorry, mom, for the disrespectful, but she doesn't have any respect for you at all. Yes, I do. Sit down. <laughs> so, do you have a problem the way with the way Anita dresses? How is she dressed today, in, in your mind? I think she dresses like a slut to get attention, and I don't need to. I just get it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't even, no, no. I dress this way because I want to. I am far from jealous. Uh, I, I dress like this all the time, and I do get a lot of attention, and I like it, but I'd get this same attention if I was wearing sweatpants. So, but she I just mean, said you dress like a slut. She does. I know. <laughs> a lot of people say that, but so I don't care. Why are you friends with her? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I think some some of the things she says are funny, but sometimes she just I'm goes. Hilarious. You're not hilarious. No, but sometimes she goes way overboard. It doesn't sound funny. It sounds mean. She is very mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm not fooling you. She is. She's. She is a bitch all the time. I mean, I even, am a bitch. I admit that. She knows okay. she's a bitch. She'll she'll go. So wrong. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does it give you power to put other people down? Sometimes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I think that the next time you have a makeover show, she's the perfect one for it. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, definitely. Oh. She needs a makeover. Oh. Okay. Anitra, does anybody like Amanda at school? Uh, she did have two friends, but then... Uh... Two, please. <laughs> I have a lot of friends at my school. My school is all bitches. I'm just the queen of them. <laughs> okay. Yes. I was just curious, is it Michelle in the black and white? Yes, Michelle, yes. Okay. What beauty contest did you win? <laughs> there was a Miss Team San Diego. I'm from California. There were 88 contestants, and that was the one that I won. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell us what really can happened, can I Danita. This? I did, um, she was in a beauty contest not too long ago, and um, I was sitting in the living room with my ex-boyfriend, and she comes walking in the door. She had just been to a rehearsal, and she's like, oh, I've got this one in the Bag. None of these girls have anything on me. Well, she won the one a while ago, but not this one. I mean, I think I think she's pretty. I do think she's pretty, and she's been my friend for but a while. But she's just not time, all that. But she's not better than everybody else. Okay. When we return, the crowning moment we've all been waiting for. With the help of our audience, we'll vote for our very own Miss All That. Don't go away. self-confident people. Just remember, confidence is one thing, but being conceited is another. So if your friends are giving you hints about your major ego, maybe you should consider dumping that attitude before your friends wind up dumping you. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Promotional fees have been paid area and want to be a part of our live studio audience. All you have to do is write for tickets. Please include your name, address, and daytime phone number. Write Ricky Lake Tickets, 401 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10016.